before we start, make sure to subscribe. Tap the bell to get notified about all new videos. Here are some common big mistakes some inexperienced bird owners can and have made. The bowl looks full, but it's not. Learn how to recognize eaten seed versus edible seed. Birds who eat seed leave behind holes that can be mistaken for whole seeds. I've heard of owners leaving the food bowl in without changing it for days, resulting in a bird starving to death with a full food bowl. Food and water should be replaced daily at minimum. If it's not on the ground, it's not food. Some young birds, especially young budgies, don't know how to eat or drink from their new bowls. They don't recognize the contents as food, they only know how to eat seed off the cage floor. If you notice a new bird not eating from its bowl for a long time, you may want to try lowering the food bowl and or putting a shallow saucer of food on the floor for the bird to see if it eats from there and or putting a shallow saucer of food on the floor for the bird to see if it eats from there. Experiment and try different ways of teaching the bird where to get its food. Where's my water? I can't find any. The same applies to water as with food. Young birds don't know that a particular container contains water. Try showing the bird water moving around in the container or get a little drop to drip from the edge near the bird. After a while, the bird usually gets the idea that there's water in the container. If switching to water bottles, show the bird how the water bottle works. Make sure it sees water dripping from the nozzle, etc. And never switch completely away from a bowl until you're really sure the bird knows how to drink from the water bottle. Is that all I get? It's safer to overfeed a bird at first rather than risk starving the bird. Reduce quantities only once you get a good feel for how much the bird needs. Experiment to make sure you're right. Birds can get fat, especially on some diets. You poisoned my water. Some birds will refuse to drink water with medicine and or perhaps vitamins added. Observe the bird carefully for the first few days. Know the bird's limits. Some birds will give in and get their medicine, while others will still refuse to drink to the point where it can hurt them. A good vet can find some other way to medicate your bird other than the water. I'd rather starve than touch that. Whether because they hate the food or just don't know it's food, some birds can and do starve to death rather than eat new foods. And even if a bird nibbles at something, it doesn't mean he understands it's food. He might just think it's a chew toy. Make sure he's swallowing it and knows it's food. In switching to new foods, always make sure the bird is eating enough food of some sort to stay healthy. And if you don't know how much is enough, talk to your avian vet. A very small bird has a high metabolism and requires frequent meals. So while one night of hunger may be okay for a healthy bird, more than that can be dangerous. All I want is seed. As stated elsewhere, a seed-only diet is insufficient. Some birds, especially those that are not tame, may be next to impossible to convert to a healthy, non-seed-only diet. But hand-tamed birds, though often stubborn, can usually be converted much more easily. Start young. Young birds are much more willing to try out new foods. That's really not food for me. Make sure you get food appropriate for your bird. Ew, my bowl is gross. Clean the water and food containers thoroughly daily. More often if there's poop in them. Tip, to rinse away stubborn detergent, spray on some vinegar and then rinse thoroughly in water very useful for water bottles. Watch for nooks and crannies in bowls and bottles where germs hide, such as the corners, 
If the surface feels slimy, you have a bacterial buildup. Not watching the bird eat, drink, play, sleep is okay. It'll be fine. Wrong. First time owners especially need to learn to observe a bird. Learn its body language. Find out how to tell if it's healthy, sick, or lonely. Anticipate its needs. Always provide fresh food and water and make sure it eats and drinks. Don't be afraid to call up your vet at the first sign of trouble. Birds can get very sick very fast. Beware in obvious poisons. Never feed your bird chocolate. It's poisonous to them. So is avocado and hence guacamole. Parts of the fruit are toxic. No alcohol, no caffeine, no lead, no cigarette butts. Cigarette smoke is bad too. Never use Teflon cookware in a house with birds. Some random ideas to get your bird to eat veggies or fruits. Know the basics of bird food. Be aware that these techniques work best with a friendly, hand-tamed bird who thinks you're a good role model, not some terrible birdie-eating monster. The see it's not poison approach. Eat fruits and veggies in front of the bird. Show it how tasty the stuff is, even if it isn't. Keep doing this until the bird looks curious, if not green with envy. The green paper approach. Stick leafy veggies like romaine lettuce in the cage bars, or stand some on the cage if your bird likes to chew holes in paper, then it might just mistake it for green paper. By the way, Romaine lettuce is, I believe, seven times more nutritious than iceberg and seems to be preferred by birds. The fake green seeds approach. Put broccoli heads out where the bird can nibble on them or offer some in your fingers. Broccoli heads in particular tend to look like a collection of green seeds. The finger food technique. Offer bits of veggies in your fingers, or if you can do it without getting yucky human saliva on it, have one end of the food in your mouth and the other by your bird's beak, thereby proving to your paranoid bird that it's not poisonous. The plaything approach. Make veggies look interesting. Maybe use a knife to make a thick piece thin enough for a small beak. A big chunk of carrot would be the equivalent of giving a child a beach ball sized carrot and expecting culinary enjoyment. And give it interesting projections and things that could tempt a birdie to nibble on it. And generally treat it like a toy. Maybe some of it will wind up in the bird. Feed other foods too, like plain spaghetti, bread, boiled egg, eggs should be boiled 15 plus minutes they say, and low fat crackers. Though not veggies, encouraging your bird to be adventurous with other foods will encourage it to be adventurous with crisp green and orange things too. Tempt with toys. While most of the techniques work best with tame birds, this is something that can be done with untamed budgies. Very tightly tie small bundles of dried grass together and dangle them in their cage. After a few days of comical fear and avoidance, the budgies learn to chew and rip apart the grass. The boring approach. You can do the standard way of adding veggies to the bird's food bowl diligently for weeks on end too. But try the other methods as well. They're more fun and probably more productive. Teaching birds to eat veggies can be tedious, but a lot of fun as well. Projects like this tend to stretch human creativity. And be prepared for a lot of food waste with birds. They often don't eat things cleanly or completely. 
But isn't a lightly nibbled half a head of lettuce or a broccoli stem worth it for your bird's health and entertainment? Don't forget to clean up uneaten food before it goes limp or worse yet, moldy. Although bajirigars in their natural habitats of Australia eat mainly grass seeds, captive bajirigars feed on either dry, sprouted, and or soaked seeds. A diet of only dry seeds is inadequate for bajirigars and or any parrot species optimum health. healthiest foods your budgie could eat is fruit. Fruit does have few nutrients, but your budgie still needs to eat them. Deciding whether an apple or a banana is healthiest is like choosing between good and better. Bananas have more than double the amount of eight nutrients, but apples also supply those nutrients and with 50 fewer calories. Budgies can eat bananas. Bananas are an excellent source of vitamin A, and all birds have a huge need for vitamin A. Remember to give it to them in small portions, but also not to give them too much. Around four or five small pieces a day, spread out throughout time would be good, but remember not to give it to them every day. Budgies enjoy fresh apples. If you keep on serving sweet apples to your birds, someday even the most stubborn fruit ascetic will most probably start to like the taste. The apple itself is great, especially the skin. It's the part that has most nutrients and vitamins. Not only do fruit and vegetables contain vitamins and minerals, but also bring some tasty additions to your bird's diet. You should remove all seeds, including the pit from your fruits, because this could be bad for your bird's digestive system. Before feeding your budgies any fruits or vegetables, clean well. Most store-bought fruits and veggies have pesticides on them, which can prove to be lethal to your bird. Bergerigar parakeets are not very pretentious. They feed with vegetarian food. Feeding and caring for parakeets is extremely crucial for budgie lifespan. The lifespan depends on breed, lineage, and health being highly influenced by exercise and diet. Budgies generally live between 5 and 8 years in the wild, but commonly make it to somewhere between 10 and 15 in captivity. One exceptional specimen clocked up over 29 years. There are many factors that can affect the lifespan of a budgie. Overweight and the lack of movement make their inner organs become too fatty, which leads to failures of the bird's organs. American budgies generally live longer than English budgies, and breeding budgies often have shorter lives than those who never raise chicks. The budgie diet you choose should be based on what they would naturally eat. The closer to natural that you can get to their diet, the better off they will be. They will have less trouble absorbing nutrients and will be able to deal with the wastes more efficiently than if they were trying to deal with something completely alien to their digestive system. Mass-produced dry seed parakeet food should constitute no more than about 20% of your budgie's diet. If offered dry seeds as a free choice diet component, budgies and other parrots will usually eat it to the exclusion of everything else offered. In other words, don't put a dish of just dry seeds in your bird's cage and expect them to eat their vegetables, too. For optimal health, organic fruits and vegetables form a very important part of your budgie's diet. Vegetables are best fed raw. 
For the biggest nutritional punch, focus mostly on dark green or yellow leafy vegetables should be offered daily. Try fruits and vegetables such as apples, pumpkin, grapes, carrot, parsley, broccoli, mango, sweet potato, squash, and spinach. Feed the fruits and vegetables to your budgie raw because cooking takes away vital nutrients. Provide a cuddle bone and a mineral block. Cuddle bones and mineral blocks are necessities for your budgie. They contain necessary minerals and nutrients that your bird might not get other places. The cuddle bone should be placed in the cage so the soft side faces the bird so he can scrape off the bone. But Jirigar parakeets need an average of 10 to 12 hours of sleep in the dark in a quiet environment. If they sleep less, they become nervous. If a Bergirigar parakeet has night fears, flying through the cage hysterical, then uncover the cage, turn the lights on, and talk to calm him or her down. There are no differences between the lifespan of male and female Bergirigar parakeets. Bergirigar parakeet cages should be large enough to fit two parakeets in order to fly from side to side of the cage. The budgie cage must be kept clean, neat, and washed. It needs to have several accessories and toys. They hate to be left alone, to be punished or hit, or have unwashed cages or be kept in tight spaces. Put a little effort into amusing them and they will stay healthy and happy for years to come. Watch next, household cleaners and chemicals around budgies, or physical hazards around the home. <laughs>